Hello, please come to the Fisherman Gas Fish Channel. Papua New Guinea Fishing Industry Association's Tuna Fishery Achieves MSC Certification. First same fishing vessels targeting skipjack and yellowfin tuna belonging to the Papua New Guinea Fishing Industry Association have achieved certification to the Marine Stewardship Council's standard for sustainable fishing. The assessment, carried out by independent assessors from SCS Global Services, found that the fishery meets all 28 performance indicators required for MSC certification. These include measures of sustainable fish stocks, bycatch, habitat impacts and effective management. Tropical tuna are one of the few wild animals we still hunt in large numbers, but finding them in the West Pacific Ocean can be tremendously difficult. In the past, people used bamboo rafts to attract tuna, fishing them while they were gathered underneath. Today, the modern equivalent, called fish aggregating devices, or FADs, usually contain high-tech equipment that tell fishers where they are and how many fish have accumulated nearby. It's estimated that between 30,000 and 65,000 man-made fads are deployed annually and drift through the western and central Pacific Ocean to be fished on by industrial fishers. Pacific Island countries are reporting a growing number of fads washing up on their beaches, damaging coral reefs and potentially altering the distribution of tuna. A yellowfin tuna caught by purse seine fishers. This individual is one of the largest that can be caught using fat. Tuna hauled aboard the fishing vessel Dolores. The tuna trade in the Pacific Ocean is worth more than 6 million US dollars a year. The Western and Pacific Ocean provides around 55% of the world's 5 million ton catch of tropical tuna and is the main source of skipjack, yellowfin and big eye tuna worth some 6 billion US dollars annually.
Different fishing methods needed to catch different sizes and species of tuna. Different what? species of tuna and tuna of different ages behave differently. Fishing involves a huge net capable of catching thousands of tuna in the open ocean. First, the same vessels operate in the open ocean, using a huge net to catch many thousands of tuna in a single. circles a school of tuna, letting out a float line that may be two kilometers long. Attached to the line is a deep wall of netting, which has reefs set in its base. A second line of wire rope runs through the rings. Once the fishers have circled the school of tuna, they draw in the lower line, which closes the bottom of the net and traps the fish. First, same fishing can be more successful when fishers use floating objects known as fish aggregating devices, because tuna like to congregate around objects floating on or near the surface of the ocean. The first same method of fishing is very selective as it usually targets only one species at a time. This means that there is very little impact from first same fishing on other marine species. The first same method of fishing is very selective as it usually targets only one species at a time. This means that there is very little impact from first same fishing on other marine species.